Hi, my name is Apostle Dr. Carolyn Cooper. I am the leader, along with my husband, Bishop Cooper, of Invaders for Christ Global Ministry. I would like to invite you, 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 and you to our services schedule. Sunday morning at 10, we have divine worship. On Tuesdays, it's our Revolution Tuesday. On Saturday morning, 5 a.m., we have corporate prayer together. Feel free to join us on any of those occasions. You will not regret it. God is in the heart. He's moving by His heart. God bless you. We will be happy and delighted to have you. If you've been forgiven If you've been redeemed Sing the song forever to the Lamb something praise day
That's currently. Red is in green. Hallelujah. 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 You're welcome in this place. Oh, I'm looking forward tomorrow to celebrate with Mama Crew. Hallelujah. 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 Let us open up in a word of prayer. Let us invoke our God. For this is a resurrection Sunday. He is risen. He is risen. Our Father. The Son, Jesus the Christ. Hey, how she call it a shop. Is risen. Even the grave couldn't hold him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We honor you this day. Over 2,000 years ago, Lord God, your son came down, Lord God, to redeem mankind back to you, Lord. In the flesh, as a babe, and as he was growing up, Lord God, he was doing your work on here on earth. He was healing the sick. He was giving sight to the blind. Father, we thank you. In spite of all that he did, oh God, we crucified him, Lord. I said, we am a part of it, Lord God. We crucified him, Lord. And today we celebrate him, oh God. His resurrection. The resurrection power, Lord God, that you've given him, Father. Even the grave couldn't hold him, Lord God. So, Father, this day that we represent the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you, God, that you would send your Holy Spirit among us, Lord. Father, God, those who are broken, those who need healing, those who are depressed, I pray, God, that you would touch them with your nails, God, harm, Lord God. Give them a miracle on this day, Father. We call this day Resurrection Sunday. God, those who are going through in their bodies, God, heal them in the name of Jesus. God, those who need a breakthrough financially, Father, give them a financial breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask your Holy Spirit, move upon our musicians, our praise team. Oh God, that they may sing and play skillfully unto you. Father, your servant, Lord God, who will bring forth the the word this morning, Father. Open the library of heaven. Give a word for your people today, God. That someone will cry out a heal. I can no longer live in sin. And Father, build their faith. That when they will heal you through her, that someone will be healed, set free, and delivered. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning. I welcome you here and I invite to you our praise team. Please feel free. Shout, jump, run if you have to. Enjoy yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody just put a smile on your face. Look at your neighbor, look down your own, begin to put a smile on your face. You are alive today because Christ is risen. You are alive today because our Savior decided to bear the cross for us today. So we ought to smile because we have a chance at life everlasting today. And we bless you, Jesus. We come back to say thank you, Lord. We come back to offer up our praises of thanksgiving to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. We bless you today for the cross. We say thank you, Lord. Look at your neighbor, say you may not. Sign my praise because God has said it from. 
done for me. No one can worship you for me. See you, Lord.
worship you. We worship you. As long as we breathe in, we live to walk. As long as we live in, we acknowledge you. We worship you. We lift up your name. Thank you. 
is running after me. May come on this best body in this house. I salute it. I salute my big daddy today. I honor daddy today. I glorify daddy today. Oh, because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all this are gone. Because I know he holds the future. See, some people have already marked us off. He holds the future. And each of our life is worth living. Because Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God, in biblical history, was resurrected. For our sin. For us to stay to wave our hands in the presence of the Lord. He woke us up this morning. He clothed us in our right mind. He given us another breath to breathe, another step to take. He gave us a heart to beat, eyes to see, ears to hear, nose to smell. Far as I can see every one of us. In the right frame of mind. It's all because of the goodness. The goodness of the Lord. I love him today. What about you? I love my big daddy today. He means the world to me. I can't even walk. My knees born without him. Holding my hand. And I'm telling you, I'm ecstatic today. I'm ecstatic today. I am ecstatic today. Because it would be Resurrection Sunday. And my family is here. Worshiping the last Oh, look at your boy. Look, oh, shaka. Let me get the new queen word. The queen. This is the queen word, you see. That's the queen word. Amen. <laughs> The queen way. <laughs> Amen. God is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endure it to all generation. There's a song that says, I got to, I got to praise and I got to get it up. Oh, Shamanda Bakasaya, Kayla, this is the Sunday man. This is the Sunday man. You have the word and be preaching. Oh. But you all have, you have the right to praise God. I got to praise. I don't know about you, but I got to praise. I got to praise, Bishop. I got to praise. And I got to, 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 got to,
My friend, my defender, my counselor, my guide, the shepherd of my soul, I, re I greet him today on this blessed, sacred Resurrection Sunday. I honor God for the chief Bishop of Invaders, Bishop Clifton Cooper, why don't you celebrate him today? I honor God for my husband of 45 years. And God is faithful. I don't say that bragging. I say it because God is being faithful because we, we of, of course, is not a perfect couple. But we grew to try our best to understand each other. Amen. And I honor God for everyone of our lead, Reverend Cecil and his wife and every other leader in this house today. I salute every one of you. Would you stand leaders so that they can receive who you are? When you all see these faces. They are the leaders of invaders of Christ. It's no use I saying the name because it can take me a while. And so I just wanted you to meet them today. And also I thank God for the awesome, the greatest praise team and musicians on planet earth. And I say that with no kind of why she say that. No, it's the truth personally to me. Amen. And God is good. And I want to thank every, I mean, I can't say it enough. Today is such an awesome day, a special day. I couldn't stop crying today to see the wonders of God. How God allowed my family to get together and they decide to keep a reunion. Sometimes it seems like it can't work. But with God, all things are possible. All you got to do is try. And once you try, God will help you to succeed. And I truly salute is Sister Lynn here. No, Minister D and Sister Relda. Those who, you know, and let me advertise while I'm about to preach. I have a niece by the name of and my sis, my youngest sister, Petlin. She is the near her oldest daughter. You see everyone who's doing church, she have a business, Lindsay. And just in case you might need printing, feel free to call Lindsay Company. <laughs> Amen. You can get in contact with Sister Reldo or Minister D. And they will help you to locate her. Amen. She's doing a phenomenal job. The family don't have to go far. I married her and her husband, me and Bishop. About three weeks ago, it perhaps would have been, and it was a privilege and an honor. And guess what? I can't stop thanking God for Miss Brown. That's a joke. My niece, Danita, and her two children, all the way from Nassau, San Boni, that's our oldest. Sister, Coralie, daughter, and our two children. Oh my God, today it's an immaculate day. It's an immaculate day. I good God, thanks to you all, man. You all make my heart feel so proud. Thank you so much for coming, for sacrificing to be here. Okay? And so, at this time, the Lord has given me a, 
I hope I will not be before you short long because the, word, um, the presence of God have already showed up. Amen. And I honor God for the greatest people on planet Earth. Invaders for Christ family, center, global ministries. I want you to stand in Vedas today as we give you a rousing round of applause. Everyone who's a part of this ministry, I want you to stand today and celebrate yourself. And someone who's sitting down, celebrate my people, my great people today. Listen, we have our shortcomings, we have our moments, but guess what? We just get along for the right things that we need to, right? Thank you so much. God is indeed good at this time. I greet you live stream audience, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I want to say happy Resurrection Sunday to you as you tune in today. And we pray your heart would have already been blessed by the conducting, by the wonderful, great praise and worship and the musicians. Let us turn our Bibles real quick to the book of Matthew, the 28th chapter. Matthew, St. Matthew, the 28th chapter, and we read, from verses 28, on, the, sorry, from verses 1, on time, on down to verses 6, just stand one more time for the reference of God's holy word and it reads thus thank you media department sound technician can't leave you well I bless God for you your faithfulness the ushers thank God for you in the end of the Sabbath as they began to draw towards the first day of the week came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre and behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel, angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angels answered and said unto the woman, Fear not, E, for I know that you see Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. God bless you. On Good Friday, I've never, I don't think I've been in a Good Friday like Friday past. It was phenomenal. Everything about Friday, our Good Friday service was phenomenal. I can't run on but that now, but I, the preacher said they leave nothing for me. <laughs> they preach everything. But be it as it may, the word of God continues. Amen. The topic that the Lord has laid on my heart for today is the power of the resurrection. The power. God bless you, Bishop, for a job well done conducting. You always do a good job, Bishop. You all put your hands together for Bishop, man. Thank God for this faithful man of God. I'm serious. He's very faithful. The power of the resurrection. Follow me as I lay my foundation as God lead. The word of God declares in Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time. To every purpose under the heaven. And so it was in the beginning of time. The infinite God who is the limitless God. 
all powerful, all knowing God. And his sovereignty, which is his supreme power and of authority, had a plan for humanity. So God decided that he will create man in his likeness and in his image. And so God created the first man, Adam, in his likeness and in his image. And God entrusted his stewardship to Adam in the garden of Eden to dress it and keep it. Say neighbor to dress it and keep it. And God in his wisdom realized it was not good for man, I feel God, for man to be alone. So he created, he created, he created or he made a help need for Adam because God had a distinct which is an important vision regarding men. Somebody give God a praise. And God put perspective in place. She moved and he gave Adam and his wife Eve a prestigious honor by letting them have full authorization which is authority of the meaning for the garden of Eden. Somebody bless God in this house that he had placed in my God to serve. The only thing God forbid Adam, the only thing God forbid Adam and his wife Eve not to do was eat of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. God only tell Adam one thing. All the bunches of fruit trees, grape trees, and, and peach tree, tree and, and peaches tree, apple tree, orange tree, all kinds of fruit tree. My God, they were even falling on the ground and ripen. My God, and they were even my God, God, the only thing that God forbid Adam and his wife Eve not to do was eat of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. Say, never there are some things you can't touch. Oh, Jesus, where you all going to me? Say, neighbor, there is some things you just can't touch. You want to touch it, but there's some things you gotta keep a distance with. Man, you all see how you all right there, man. Somebody give daddy a praise in this place. Ah, see, kanda masia. Ah, he told him, listen, was to, to, not to not. He told him not to eat of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil which is interpreted in scripture in Matthew 6 and 24 he says no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will be devoted to one and despise the other you cannot serve God and the devil somebody Give daddy a praise in this place. Somebody give daddy a praise in this place. And so Eve, the weaker vessel, the woman, the woman, the woman, the woman, <laughs> became vulnerable. Vulnerable, vulnerable. Interesting, right? Became vulnerable and succumbed to the temptation of the deceiver who was said to the devil in the serpent. It was the devil in the serpent. Somebody give that a praise. Oh, somebody give that a praise. He was a deceiver. 
He was a deceiver. And Eve caused her husband Adam to become a reproach. Shambanda. A reproach. Which is a disappointment. A disapproval. A deficiency to God. Original plan for humanity. And so God had to replace, reaffirm, make a renewed commitment of the broken system that was sabotaged under the leadership of one Adam. Which brings me to my topic, the power of resurrection. And it was over. It was this long. Two thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. The all powerful, all knowing God came back. Into time. Say, neighbor, God came back into time. Somebody help me preach or oh, shapanda. Somebody give daddy praise. He came back into time. Mm, that's how much he loves us. Mm. And revisit. He revisit his sovereignty, which is the power of who he is. To let Satan know, Satan, I will not be denied. Somebody give my daddy a I feel the preaching anointing. Somebody give daddy a praise in this place. God came back at the time. I can let Satan know you do one thing. You had one break. Now your next break is over. Somebody give daddy a praise in this place. Mm -hmm. Now he will not because creation was now in a breach place and creation was now groaning for the state of man's soul that was lost the stench of Adam and his sin was now in God's this this thing. was now in God's nostril. God was still in sin. And what he was smelling was the opposition who was the devil went to the woman and betrayed her all of her decent life. All of her Christianity. And she fell for the venom, the poison of Satan who is a poisonous. Somebody give daddy a praise in this place. Go in some place with this work. Somebody give daddy a praise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, yes, the system. And so, help them. Somebody give daddy a praise. Mm -hmm. And so now, the state of man's soul was lost. Eve was now, sin was now in God's nostril through Adam and Eve. 
They are now violated God's glory from creation. The world was now irregular, confused, mixed up, contamination had taken over, destruction had came into play, sin was stinking in the garden of the oh Lord, the Lord of Eden. Somebody give daddy a praise in this house. Bondage stepping. Where there was life, death took over. Where there was good health, sickness took over. Oh, confusion was now the order of the day. Where Adam and Eve were peaceful, there was now arguing among each other. You caused me to do that. I caused you to do that. You caused me to do that. You caused me to do that. And they were blaming each other like today. Amen. May Lord have me praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Is that my youngest sister, Pam? I glimpse you. I love you, girl. Somebody give daddy a praise in this place. The world was now in a compromised place because the thief, which is the devil, the scripture quoted him like this and says, he had come to steal, kill, and destroy. We're talking about the power of resurrection. And so God in his compassion, with his never failing love, Refused to give Satan the benefit of the doubt of what he had to do with the first man and woman. He refused for them to stay in the because see, God don't give up on us. Even though we give up on him, God never gives up on us. I don't care what sin you commit. The only sin that God will not forgive is an unconfessed one. You gotta confess. I don't care what you did. You gotta kill one man and one woman last night. You gotta commit of of, of abortion. You gotta keep. A little bit too. <laughs> yeah, that too. Amen. If you go to God for repentance, He is willing to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. We are talking about the power of resurrection. Somebody clap your hands and give my family a Never finished rules to give Satan the benefit of the doubt. And so God made a pledge, a holy sacrificial offering. An offering. Could you imagine? God giving. Lord, I can get in problems right now, but I can't apologize. I get rich. Could you imagine? God gave all that he had as an offering. Some people wouldn't throw a doll in church. And God gave his only, only, only human being. I mean a human being with bread. A human being with bread. Get out like God speaking. Only. We don't want to give the only um, child we have away. But God gives his only son as an offering. Sacrifice. I try to keep, I try to hold it, you know. I try to hold it down. I feel a resurrecting power on me today. I try to hold that resurrecting power down to finish this message. He 
he was willing. You think I can be willing? A Bishop Cooper, any one of the other ministers or mothers and daddy in here. Now, Jelena, I'm going to use you as an example. Unreal. God just bless them that are son. You know, whoever have one child, you think. Man, I feel like. Do you think now? I said the devil in his mind is a liar. You think they can give that one precious offering that God blessed them with? Man, look at you all look solemn and they're looking at Somebody give God your praise in this place, man. You think the Mika can give her one? I want the two stamps to move. Okay? Or is it an offering? Absolutely not. Or no parent in here who has more than one child will do it. Because all is precious. All is precious. All is precious. Somebody shall praise the Lord. Oh God, Lord, have me to read for me. Uh, only because of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, to replace, He sent them to replace the broken system that Adam and Eve had caused destruction to humanity, to the garden. Because it was not humanity yet, because there was the first man and women. To the garden, the place that God had asked them to keep, to protect, yes. to be watchful. We're talking about the power of resurrection. The power of resurrection. They were supposed to be committed. But what Adam did allow Eve to cause his flesh to sin and thereby before the violation of sin contamination contaminated every fruit tree every apple tree every pear tree every guava tree every plum tree Creation was groaning because even the sun was groaning. The earth that the plant was burying was groaning because something took place. A mistake was made and everything in that district was affected. By the influence of the evil Satan's venom because of one Eve and Adam and had sense enough to keep the promise that God had told him. His wife didn't keep it and he went along with her. Somebody give daddy a praise. Somebody give my daddy a praise. Okay, I'm going. Second mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Corinthians 5.21 says, So you have made him to be sent for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. You're talking about the power of resurrection. Everything that Satan stole from us, when Jesus went, Palm Sunday, Good Fridays, we celebrated. Oh my God, we had the time, but anyhow, not for later. When Jesus offered himself to the purpose of his Father, he laid 
made himself available. He said, I'll go to redeem mankind back to you, my father. He went down into hell. Colossians 2.15 said he having spoiled principalities and powers he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it he made a shoe when he went down in hell in real hell real hell and Jesus was so protected no fire oh lord no fire could have touched his body. No evil influence from the enemy could have done nothing to stop him. He went with all power. The Holy Ghost in operation. We need a Holy Ghost church. You can't fight the devil really without the Holy Ghost. No wonder so many people are defeated because the Holy Ghost is not in them. That's the power that we have. The forces of darkness. Jesus went down in hell to fight the forces of the enemy. You think he didn't have a struggle? We say they complain, God, why are you putting me through this? God, why are you doing this? Could you imagine Jesus fighting the boy head? Baby devil. Just as look on who could have fighting Jesus, but it couldn't. Because Jesus had a power, a dynamite power in him. He was not intimidated. He was not afraid to go against the principalities of darkness in hell. Go against the forces of Satan. He was not intimidated because he was prepared for the journey. Somebody give daddy a praise in this place today. Somebody put your hands together and give God praise. We're talking. I'm getting that to my conclusion about the power of the resurrection. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. The power of the resurrection. Luke 10, 19 says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. When Jesus went down into hell, again, into the devil's camp, his praying sealed, his onslaught territory to reinstate a broken sabotage system that said and have sold in the way from humanity. He stole away first access to eternal life through salvation. What Jesus did was cause us to be united back as one. On Resurrection Sunday. To be resurrected back. With Christ. Because when Jesus. Went down. He went down. Then Jesus went down in hell. He went down for some things. At the devil. Do I have my media with me? That the devil has stolen. Away from humanity. He had to go and get some stuff. What the enemy had stolen 
from Adam and Eve. He had to take some keys back. Is my media with me? Somebody get out of your praise. He got to understand what resurrection is all about. Jesus says that he died on that old rugged cross. He had to. You all wait with me now. Don't go out in front of me. He had to go to fight. Do you think the devil was going to let him get it easy as that? It was a war going on in hell. this morning God said to tell everyone every one of us even when Jesus when the angel Gabriel came to Mary Ghost impregnated Mary with Jesus. God said, I heard a loud voice. God bless you. Said Jesus. destiny if you haven't done yet he gave us access to salvation salvation is the first step to destiny Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost he took the keys of salvation back from Satan. Satan had interrupted God's plan. And God had to refurbish and replace it, reinstate it. That's what Resurrection Sunday is all about. And then, salvation. It's now time. Somebody give daddy a praise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Destiny was about the deliverance of those who are bad, those who are bruised. He took back the keys. Of deliverance, because Satan take it. Satan, 
Satan strip man of the power that they had. All of this was with God gave out. And so in salvation, after salvation, he had to give back the keys of deliverance. He stopped men from being progressive. He stopped men from what? He hold them bondage. Bondage. And he took that keys. Bondage. He was holding men to sin. Somebody give daddy a poor shock, man. Hallelujah. Somebody give daddy a praise in this place, man. I'm almost finished. And then... It was the keys. He took restoration from the devil to be restored back. For man to be restored back to fellowship with God. Because we were in a dismal state. We were separated. from God and Sunday restorations resurrection Sunday is about restoration God restores back to our rightful place that we can be delivered through salvation from the enemy Somebody get daddy a praise in the And then, and then he gives us. I'm not talking of, about breathing life. You better breathe. I'm talking about the God life. Life. I'm talking about the God life. I'm not talking about the air that we breathe. I'm talking about salvation life. The Bible said Jesus came that we shall have life and have it more abundantly. That's the type of life I'm talking about. He gave us the keys back to life that we can live free from sin. I'm talking about the power of resurrection. I'm getting that. Somebody give daddy a praise. I don't know how many have life. I ain't talking about the air you breathe. You're not so. I ain't talking about the heartbeat. I'm talking about the life of God through salvation. Somebody give daddy praise. I'm getting down. I'm getting down. Mm. Mm. And with that life, it will not be easy. Did I say healing? With that life comes healing. I don't care what you go through, depression, oppression, anxiety. I don't care what kind of sickness in your mind. I don't care. When you have Jesus in your life and you anchored your soul in him, he will make you whole. And I tell you the devil ain't going to fight because he's a sly old fox and he's fine. But when you have Jesus, you have the peace that passes all understanding. Oh my God, He can heal you wherever you're sick, and He can restore wholeness to your brokenness. This is what the power of the resurrection is. 
this is why Jesus went down into hell on Saturday. On Friday. On Saturday. All those hours he was fighting the demons and the devils of hell. To recover. To recover. That which was stolen from us. Man, I feel no Holy Ghost, man. You are precious to God. I am precious to God. It is not His will that none shall perish, but that all will come to repent. Since I'm getting down, I'm getting down, I'm getting down, I'm getting down. And then when you have the life of God, when you have the life of God, and after, when the life comes, you become resuscitated. Have you ever seen somebody who was drowning? <laughs> they were drowning, right? And then, when you did manage to get them, before they die, you perform resuscitation on them. And you go, you're blowing them out. Well, all you do, you don't have me. CPR. The life of God is, He gave us spiritual CPR. 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 Spiritual CPR. Mokunda. No matter what position you are in today. I hear God say, I'm going to give you spiritual CPR. You shall live and not die. To declare the works of the Lord. Oh Lord, I got to finish and I almost finish again. But three more. Mm-hmm. Who does say go ahead? Thank you, baby. You just confirm I should go. Somebody get down your place in this place. And I seek give you spiritual resuscitation. Give you life. If you were right in that. You're recovering, right? You recover. Can I tell you this that? comes the peace of God. I hear God today, five of you. You allow the situation, and I ain't gonna judge no one. He said, five of life to weigh you down. You sit and you are anxious and you become worried. About your circumstances. Come on, somebody. You struggle and you turn to other source rather than turning to God. God said this that one to restore peace. Peace. Peace to someone today. Say peace. peace. That one to restore peace. And then he said, I want to restore. Hope, because hope make it not a shame. I'm going to restore peace. I'm going to restore hope to you. In your hopelessness. In your going through. In your back being against the wall. And you feel like no, no, you, 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 like you are cornered. I don't know why God gave me this. You feel like you are cornered. Lord, why, why is this happening? God said, because destiny awaits you. What did it say when you're exorb? It's what coming up. Uh, am I right? Somebody help me, please. Somebody help me. Hey, Dickie. Say, when whatever you absorb is what comes up. Stop Exorbing negativity. Go 
God wants to do a supernatural work in someone's life today. The power of the resurrection. God is offering somebody hope today. Yes. Family, I don't know why God said you are here today. But God said he wants to restore hope. hope. Those of us who are here, he wants to restore hope. And when you have hope, the love, the joy of the Lord becomes your strength. He said, this is what Resurrection Sunday is all about. The joy of the Lord, recovering the joy. He's talking about preparing for destiny. And then, this is what he said. He said, and then did I say joy? And he said, to top it off. Love. He came back from the grave and gave us access. And those things I name out are the keys that Jesus took from the devil. Because every one of us are in need of those keys that I talked about. Because destiny awaits us. Destiny was awaiting Jesus. And he had to fulfill his earthly duties. I hear God say, I'm calling for people who will fulfill their earthly duties. Somebody give that your way. Somebody give that your way. And he said, A horse. <laughs> This is my last statement. A horse, a carrot, never go before a horse. Am I right? The carrot go behind the horse. That's right. That's right. Behind the horse. Yeah. The horse and then the carrot, right? I say that. The horse, I'm always going before the car. Okay, I might have said it a little mistakenly. A horse carry the carriage. A horse carry the carriage. Because when the horse carry the carriage, carriage, there's something in that carriage. That that horse carries. Am I right? I hear the Lord say, I wish about all things. You prosper and be in good health as your soul, as your soul. As your soul, as your soul. And he said, the last thing, I want to give you poverty. I want to give you wealth. But if you go through the destiny of what was preached today, you will see God, Hashaka, come come true for you. Seek ye first. Live stream audience. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all things will be added unto you. God is calling someone to destiny today. The keys to destiny has already given them out. And notice he left out. He left poverty and wealth, prosperity and wealth for the last. Because he says, seek my kingdom first. Because you could have all the judgment money in your soul in safe. And you're on your way to Christ said, help. See, let's put it in perspective. Would you stand? Draw me close to you. Thank mm-hmm. you.
Thank you, Father. To hear you say, you No one else Cause nothing else can take your place to feel the warmth Help Help me find a way Bring me back to you God, what is your will? For Sunday, as the Lord began to dialogue with me, He said, Don't let your people and those here leave. Tell them destiny. Is calling them. Destiny awaits them. Destiny. Destiny awaits them. Destiny is an idea of a higher purpose or plan. that directs an individual life journey and encourage one to take an action for one future that has been decided and only planned a positive future by God. I can't and I ain't gonna judge where you are headed, not me. I'm not going to judge. But even as destiny awaited Jesus, and he was ready to respond to the conversation that his father, Jesus, God had with him after Adam the first man and Eve, the first woman, messed up. And destiny was calling him. He fulfilled destiny. He came on earth he executed his duties. He fulfilled the healing, the saving, the preaching of the gospel. You know, all of that. And as he did that, he was preparing for what God would have called him to do his father. The Lord said, don't leave it today and 
Trim it. Tell five people and perhaps more. Destiny is calling you. You're in here by might. You're in here by power. God said my spirit. I ain't robbing you either. I just have a passion to preach. I preach above the resurrection. The resurrection was all about us. And if we don't fulfill the resurrection, we can stand before the judgment seat of Christ to get a comfortable day after in this body where we'll be cut up. It's just like close on this resurrection Sunday. God bless you, daughter. Ebony made a send appeal. Whoever feel like you should come here to the altar is a good thing. And I force in you. God bless you, Sister Annie. One day each of us would have to stand and give an account to God. If you know you want to come to the altar for prayer, I we'll read you in a prayer come today. You don't have to be intimidated. You don't have to be afraid. God honors it. He honors the step you made. Were needed. God bless you today. You all I want. Help me to know. Help me know you are there. Oh, you all I want. Two significant, very important days, season in biblical history. So number one is when Jesus Hi baby. All right. Mm-hmm. When Jesus came in a lowly manger. Everything about Jesus was ridiculous. Was that he was a nobody. Y'all notice that? Everything about Jesus that he was a nobody. He was among the cows and the sheep and the goats. The manger was made out of straw and all them things. He had no easy bed. And in spite of he came, man get rid of pride, man. And then after that, look at the sad state. He came to before crucifixion. And the preacher said it. The preachers said it so good on Sunday. He went through being spit upon, being beaten. They took him and put him on an old rugged cross and they nailed his hands and his feet. Are we better than Jesus? No, would you hold your hands to heaven? Father, I have done 
is you have commanded me to on this resurrection Sunday. There is power in the name Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus. God, there is power for you to touch, Lord God. Everyone that stands here today, you are a deliverer. You are a healer. God, you can do anything. You are a miracle worker. You are a restorer. You're able, Father. I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. On this resurrection Sunday, that someone who came to this altar today night would be changed, rearranged by your power. That when they leave this place, Father, they will feel a newness, they will feel a freshness, they will feel something, something different that will convince them that they were in the right place at the right time. I thank you for my family today. I pray in the Makasaya for victory, Father, for deliverance, Father. I thank you for touching on my sea and saving all, saving someone today by your healing power, by your deliverance power. I pray, Father, that this Sunday will continue to be significant in their life. That this Sunday will be a testimony. A testimony for someone today. And those who came, Lord, who stepped out first. God, may their life never be the same because destiny is calling them today. In the name of Jesus, even as they came under the conviction, Lord, let them know destiny awaits them today. Father, I thank you and I give you praise for a supernatural touch, a supernatural breakthrough, supernatural deliverance. And I declare this day will go down in the history book. In Jesus' name, somebody give daddy a praise on your way to your seat. On your way to your seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody call man, give God a praise. I see you on my castle. I see you, Jesus. Oh. God, there's some family members that are home. They are here. Members are here and the family members are home. God, they need Jesus. That family member that need Jesus. That husband, father, that son, that daughter. God, I claim victory for them today. Those who have families, Lord, that are unsaved and they're present, Lord, in this sanctuary. God, do a supernatural work in their life. May this, uh, may this Easter uh, be, Lord, a testimony uh, of your greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody put your hands together and give God praise. Give them praise. Give them glory. Give them honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Where's Bishop? Bishop, come. Again, thank each of you for coming. Appreciate you all so much. Wherever you came from, no, you are welcome always to the Invaders for Christ Family Center. Hallelujah. Give it up for our Chief Apostle. Give it up for our Apostle. Awesome word. Awesome word. My God. Awesome word. I shake my head as a man. I said, Apostle is born to preach. Hallelujah. God is doing the work. But you know, if you let the devil intimidate you, he's going to win. The devil can't win. You can't let you can't let, you can't let the devil intimidate you. Well, we are the part the way everybody can play a part. I always say, when you go to the bank and you ain't got no account, it's impossible to borrow money if you ain't put no money in the bank. Amen. Hallelujah. And I said to those when I was out there in the taxi line, I said, 
pay your NIB, although you are self-employed. If you put in to NIB, when time to retire, you will get something from NIB. You still got them out there who ain't got a dime because they ain't put nothing in. If you don't put something in the kingdom, you can't expect to be blessed. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 and 12. Will a man rob God? Ye have robbed me. But ye, ye, where have I robbed you? In tithes and offering. When you give, give from your heart. To be blessed. Because the word of God said, Man look at outward appearance. But God looks at your heart. Give freely. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, God, for this offering that your people will give back to you, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that some may not have. And God, those who have, oh God, we ask you, God, that they will give freely. Bless them, bless them, Lord, a thousand and a million fold. Let them see your miracle in their giving, oh God. Open their hearts and their minds, Lord God, that they cannot beat you giving. Because you provide them, Father, with everything that they have on this earth. And as they will come to give to you today, show them your glory, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, you can come with your offering, tithe and offering. Forgiven